Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our webinar, which is to meet your residence manager um, today, who is Kasha, who is joining me. Um, just to say, uh, it would be great to hear from you all as to where you're joining us from today, because I know some people would have had to wake up quite early or maybe you're staying up quite late. So if you let us know in the chat box where you're joining from today, and I'll read some of those out before we get started. I'm just going to say good morning. My name is Kasha, as my colleague introduced me. Um, I am your residence manager at Sketch, and I'm looking forward to meet you all. And I tend to talk a lot, so please <laughs> forgive me if I'm going to miss any questions, but I'm going to try to give you as much information as possible. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a lot of back and forth on this on this webinar. Um, so yeah, we've got some students who've said where they're joining us from. So we've got someone from Switzerland, someone from Kent, so not too far away, someone from Lebanon, um, Thorok, uh, Switzerland, Germany, Milton Keynes, um, someone from Minneapolis in the USA, wow. uh, Pakistan, uh, Romania, Singapore, Suffolk, Norwich, uh, India, Colorado, Brazil, Germany, India again, um, Italy, Boston in the US. So yeah, real real mix here, which is really great to see. So yeah, thank you for everyone who where it with you're not on the same um, time zone as us. So it's really great to see everyone who has. Um, it looks like I'm gonna get a lot of fridge magnets from all over the world. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> thank you guys. Thanks for sharing. Um, oh, Japan as well. Amazing. Wow. Um, so yeah, really great for, to see you all here. So my name's Sarah, I work in the accommodation services team alongside Kasha, um, and you might see me sometimes in Sketch House as well. Um, and then, so what we're gonna have today is we're gonna have a quick presentation from Kasha, who's gonna go through everything that you need to know about Sketch before you arrive. Um, and then at the end, we'll have a question and answer session. So we'll be answering any questions you have. So anything that pops into your mind whilst we're going through the presentation, if you just put it in the, in the chat box and then we'll try and get through as many as possible at the end of the presentation. If there's any questions that you've asked that are quite specific to your um, individual needs or um, your experience, then we'll get back to you separately. Um, and if we just don't manage to get through them all, um, depending on how we're doing for, for time, we will make sure that we get back to you after the presentation. So it'll probably be by the end of this week, we'll have answered everything that you've asked of us. Um, the other thing to say is the, the, present, the webinar itself will be recorded. So if there's anything you missed or you want to watch back with friends or family um, at a later date, then we will be sending you out the recording as well. So don't feel as if you have to write everything down and take everything in. It will still be available after. Um, so, yeah, it's all good. Um, sorry. And also just for the questions, if you just pop them in the question box rather than the, the chat, that would be that'd be great. Um, so, yeah, I'll hand over to Kasha. Talking about questions, um, if you will have anything um, that pops into your mind afterwards, um, you can always email me at sketch.house at arts.ac.uk. You don't need to remember that email address, it's also on our website. We've got a lot of staff there, which I'm going to talk you through, guide you through. So if there is any, anything specific you would like to know, um, you will find it also in an induction that we're going to talk about. But if you want to email me straight after the presentation, feel free. Let's start. So today um, we will talk you through um, what do you need to know before your arrival. Um, and then uh, we'll talk about rent information, about the dates when the rent is being collected and how and what adjustments you may want to, um, to make. Um, we will tell you um, how the arrival is going to look like, um, what we have got in place for you, what can you expect on arrival. Um, I will tell you a little bit about my job at UAL, um, my residence role, and how can I help you um, or I'm just going to be letting you know that my door is always open. Um, we will talk to you through your inventory. Um, so what are you going to find in your room? Um, I already received a lot of questions, so I hope that um, I will be able to um, tick all the boxes for you. Um, we will talk you through the facilities. What have we got on site? It's quite a lot and exciting. Um, we will talk you through our whole life program. Uh, we do have a team. 
um, wonderful people. I'm sure you're all going to love them. Um, but I've done a lot of effort um, to to put that program in place, and there's um, there are a lot of exciting uh, exciting um, events this year. You will be also able to see it on our website, and there will be some right on the day when you arrive. So there's something to look forward to. Um, we will talk about health and safety. It's very important um, bit for me, and I'm sure it will become very important for you as well. Um, and we will also talk about support. Our support at UAL has actually got a name because the first person um, to contact is my colleague Louise. Um, and then we've got a lot wide, much wider team um, that I can help you in, in various areas. So I'll talk about it at last and then we'll we'll cover it all with QAI questions. Finish, I'm sorry. So what do you need to know before you arrive? Um, the most important bit for me and for you is to go through the induction. Um, it may seem that it's quite a lengthy induction, however, we do cover a lot of bits in there that are important before you arrive. And this is health and safety, um, what do you need to bring, what you will find in the facilities and you wouldn't. And that's from pots and pans, hair dryers, size of the beds. Um, if you've got any additional questions that you didn't find on the website, because I know I already had some questions about three quarter bed, is it a small double? And how much is it in inches or centimeters? Please do not afraid to ask. I've got that information in hand. Um, so if you would like to know the specifics, instead of Googling, you can ask me, I'm more than happy to answer. Um, e induction is really, really important because that's also being, um, it needs to be completed before you arrive. And I also get the stats. So if you haven't, I will be completed it yet. I will be chasing it. It's also very important for you to let me know what you might need um, and choose your arrival time. Um, so I'm sure that even though that it takes a little bit of time to, um, to go through that, um, I also review that information at the end. So it's an important piece of my work and I would really, really appreciate if we can, if you can go through this with your friends and family or with some of your colleagues or if, if you can do it uh, right before you arrive, then please do, because then I will have the completion list. Um, and I want to put you on the spot, but I will be sending Chaser emails to have that completed. Um, we also have a guidebook. Uh, it is on our website. If you go to the Google search engine and you will type in sketch house, uh, holes, um, when you scroll further down the page, there is a whole guidebook and then it covers everything from which plugs do we use um, in the UK um, through the kitchen equipment um, and various other bits and the area um, information about um, our accommodations team finance team all vital contact um, contact addresses and and, and names um, my email addresses um, then I think you'll find it handy um, what else is there Sarah everything <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of, I was done, done a few webinars this morning already, but I would say definitely if there's something, a question that you have, I would try just searching for that word. So whether it's air fryers that you want to find out about, washing machines, um, repairs, so you know how to report repairs, Wi-Fi login. If you just search for the word, it's an A to Z of everything that you need to know about the hall. Um, so yeah, it's really has got everything that you might need to know or that that we will reference in this presentation i've also just put the link in the chat so you should all have um the link for the for the guidebook as well thank you are we going through the next slide yes rent information um as you probably noticed you all signed the tenancy agreement and um you all paid your 250 pound deposit and the 150 pound that goes towards the rent However, the most important bits are the next three terms payment. The reason they are important is because I know and I do I do know from experience that we, we get a lot of questions if I can change the date um, because I've got a student loan, for example. So you do not need to worry. If you let us know in advance um, that you, for some reason, you won't be able um, to make the payment of those days because you receive a student loan, all you need to do is to send us an email with your loan schedule pass it on to the finance team and they will be able to help you or they won't be chasing you on that day and send you remainders for the payment. You may receive them 
um, because some of them are being automatically created via our system. So if you have an agreement with the student finance, there is no point to stress. We will help you. We'll have it on the radar. So do not worry. We just need the we just need the schedule. And if you can forward it to the finance team, let them know. Um, or if you can't find their email address, let me know, and and I'll speak to my colleagues. So we've got three payments that. Um, or the pink lab of your installments. The first one is on the 2nd or on the 9th of September. Some of the tenancies start on the 2nd and the rest starts on the 9th. So you will need to let, refer to your tenancy agreement when it's also broken down and it has your arrival date. Second payment is on the 8th of January and the third payment is on the 8th of April. And after April, happy days. Whatever you've got left, feel free to spend. <laughs> um, I've covered a bit about student loan, um, so I'll move forward to the ways uh, to pay. Some students prefer to pay in full. Um, if you would like to make your termly payment with a different card than you've paid your instalment, then please contact our finance team because that will be then automatically connect, uh, collected. Well, if you're paying instalments, then it will be automatically con collected from that credit card. If there are any changes, please let us know because. Um, I had a lot of the, those queries before, um, and I know that it's it's important to to give them the relevant information, so we wouldn't need to chase and we wouldn't cause it additional stress when you've got a million different things that you need to think of when you're at uni. Um, you can also choose to pay by bank transfer if that's your preference. Let us know; we will send you the details. We will guide you through. Um, and if you want us to liaise with your parents about the payments or with any relatives then re please remember that we also need your consent to speak to them. So it will be nice if in a separate email, you will also let us know, copy me in um, and tell the finance team that you are giving us consent to liaise with your relative, friend, family, um, to, to talk about the financial um, side of, of, yeah, about finance, basically. That's, that's what I mean. I think that's it. Rent information. And yes, that's the email that uh, sometimes is being lost in translation. <laughs> that's acomfinance at arts.ac.uk. Um, you also have their your, um, telephone number. Um, so they will be a, my, my team will be able to help you with changing your payment card. I've covered it because I knew it's coming <laughs> uh, with, uh, with the payment plan, any queries regarding your rent. Um, and yes, in general, if you've got any financial queries, please let us know. We're always happy to, to answer any questions. We've got years of experience, so you can rely on us. And the next bit is what to do when you arrive. The most important bit, I think. Um, please be prepared that as soon as you come to Sketch House, we will have a lot of team members um, that are helping us on both of those days and they will ask to ask you to verify your identity so we may ask you for your passport or driving license or any um, international id card so please have it handy um, we do have um, an inventory to sign and this is a very important bit on the arrival we will ask you to fill arrival form this is a confirmation that you have arrived and when and that you have been informed about the inventory you have been handed the keys and um, and you've been talked through um, the arrival process and how to sketch house i really like that term um, on the inventory if you can please pay attention to we, we do inspect the rooms but we're only human beings if there is anything that we for some reason missed or you think that anything is misplaced or anything is missing or there is anything that you might need help with stated on your inventory um have a look at the walls doors and everything else that's that is a part of our sign off process when we were getting the rooms ready for you um, but as I said, um, errors sometimes happen. So if you can stay there on the inventory and help us, um, it's also guide us how to arrange any any, any maintenance that you might need. Um, and um, it helps us in the long run because the, the, the form is being grieved at your departure inspection as well. We're not departing yet. We're talking about arrival. But it's a really, really important bit to have it completed. Um, so on arrival, you will be given the inventory form, you will be given a key. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the building where we'll help you to find your whereabouts um, and explain the exits. 
Uh, you're more than welcome to help with family and friends. The question that I'm being asked a lot is the parking. We do not have a designated parking for Sketch House, but we do have the information in hand. You may have received that email already. Um, we rely on a website that I'm a big fan of. It's Parkopedia. It shows you the parking within the area. There is private par parking um, bit, and then if you look at the Parkopedia website, there will be three options at the bottom, public parking, private parking, and the prepaid parking and off-street free parking when you may park your car for 15 minutes. And as much as we've got, um, it seems like we've got a lot of parking around, uh, we also have some traffic wardens, so please do not overstay your welcome. Um, I think the best idea will be to um, send a member of family to pick up a trolley from us. We will have the trolleys available on site and then you can offload to the trolley um, and then find your parking, parking space around whichever is your preference um, and then continue to the trolley, to, sorry, with the trolley to the reception and um, check in. We do have a amount of trolleys and I would say quite a lot. Last time I counted it was about 50, um, but they are being used very heavily on that day. So um, if you can take as little time as possible, we have four lifts around the building, two in the main lobby, um, going from the ground floor, one at the back, and then from the first floor, we've got another lift coming, going from the first floor to the fifth floor. It's fairly easy um, to move around. We've got a ramp at the reception as well. So it should be quick and easy. We will have staff to help you as well. So if there are any heavy items, remember about manual handling and save your back. Do not lift it on your own. Rather ask for help, and I know as much as you will be coming with family and friends um, because of because of a limited parking outside, you may be able to, you maybe want to ask us for help. So just raise your hand, and there will be always someone to um, to help you through. I needed to talk about the manual handling, of course. <laughs> what do I do? This is the bit when I talk a little bit about um, what's my role um, at Sketch. So. As you know, I will be your residence manager um, and there may be various things that you want me to, to help you through. Um, my door is always open. My, my office is located behind the reception on the ground floor. Um, I'm sure you will be able to um, see me as soon as you come in because um, my door is uh, facing the entrance. So anytime, please feel free to approach me. Um, you can contact me. Um, using the contact details provided in the guidebook that my colleague has already mentioned. I can help you with reference, email addresses, I can help you to um, get along with your flatmates or to meet them because sometimes they're hard to meet. Um, I know that um, a lot of students like to have um, WhatsApp groups, so download your WhatsApp before you come if you're not using it already. Um, I will be able to help you with kitchen rotors, if you have booked a, um, if you haven't booked a studio, you have booked a room in a shared flat. That sometimes we've got those busy tenants that, or busy students that are um, struggling with their kitchen duties. So I'm more than happy to help and create a router. Um, and um, if you've got any queries about your accommodation, rent, or, or a tenancy, I will be here to help as well. Uh, if there is anything else that you might need or any other questions on support that you may require, um, I can always signpost you to the relevant services. We do have a website that is, um, is called Wellbeing website. There is, um, it's very transparent and it's very easy to navigate through, but if you're not sure, please come and see me. I will be able to find the right person for you to speak to. We also have Hi, <laughs> you went to the head, Sarah. Uh, we also have um, our Halls Live team members in at Sketch House, so living in Halls. They will also, if I'm not here for some reason, they will also be able to to guide you. Um, and they've got various roles from well-being to marketing. So there will be always someone that you can rely on or someone that you can talk to. What should I find in my flat? So yes, that's the most exciting bit for you guys. <laughs> as soon as you check in and pass through reception, you will be guided to your room. Every single room has got um, a mattress protector and a bed ready for you. You will find a cutting mat. 
if you want, we have spare, spare ones at receptions. You should have them all in the room, but just in case I miss something, because I'm going through all the rooms, I apologize in advance, but you will be able to pick one up from reception. Um, you will find your inventory that I already touched base about. Um, we will be giving this out, and then the sooner you complete it, the better, because as soon as you start settling in, you may miss things, um, and it's, it's better to complete it as soon as you arrive. Um, you will um, be notified about any charges. We do have that bit on our website, and yes, we like to be very digital, but if you can't find it for some reason, come and see me. Speaking of charges, um, we do arrange um, inspections. So in your flat, as soon as you come in, you will have the kitchen on your right and the left hand side. This is a shared kitchen between all of you. And then as much as it's your home away from home, the cleaning bit doesn't go away. That's why I've mentioned, <laughs> that's why I've mentioned the kitchen rotors. If you fail your inspections, um, you will always be given 48 hours until the second inspection happens. It's good to have a second chance. That's where we go ahead with it. The inspections, um, the first ones that are failed will have marked areas that, that we feel that shouldn't be cleaned and need to be improved. So you're not going to be left just blindfolded or folded and needed to re-clean the whole facility again. Um, but if you fail the second inspections, we are obligated to um, arrange um, cleaning. So we do have a specialist that we work with. This is to prevent pest control and to maintain the facilities. Um, and then if you've got a rotor in place, then you will be excluded from the charge if you have cleaned your area. It's a good practice to, um, if you've got an area that you're, you're assigned to be uh, cleaning um, on a regular basis, it's a good practice to clean it. Take a couple of pictures. Um, just so we can have a proof that you have cleaned those areas um, and you should be excluded from the charge because after all, um, the charge for the cleaning is being passed on and then you will share um, a portion of it. Um, I think that's the most important bit about the charges. Um, if there are any damages to your room, please let us know. Do not attempt to repair it yourself. The earlier you tell us, the better, because there is a better chance that we can ask our maintenance team that is on site to fix it, uh, and you wouldn't be charged for the walls um, damage. And it happens. Sometimes you carry heavy items. Sometimes accidents happen. We will always attempt um, to, to fix it for you in-house. So you don't need to worry. The sooner you tell us, the better. And this is um, where we're coming to the one of other important bits, which is how to repoint maintenance. As soon as you move to Sketch House, you, I'm sure you will sp uh, spot logos that have got fresh written on it. So we have a partner that um, is living with us at Sketch. Um, I am representing UAO and I work with Fresh Maintenance, uh, Fresh Student Living and Fresh Maintenance Team, who is helping us to deal with anything that's from um, compliance to any maintenance that may happen in a building. We do have a fresh maintenance app. If you go to your app store or Google store, it will be called Fresh Student Living, and this is where you, where you, where you report your maintenance. All those email addresses that you have used to apply for your accommodation will be the same email addresses that we used to create, to pre-create your account on the application. Um, we also have um, included instructions um, that you'll be set, all sent out how to log on. Because your um, account is being um, pre-created, you would need to rather sign, up, sign in than sign up or forget your password using the same email address that you have registered your account with when you were applying for your accommodation. And then you'll be able to add the picture to describe the maintenance. The sooner you raise it, the better. Um, we are reviewing it on a daily basis. Um, if you struggle with the app, please approach my colleagues at reception. They will be able to help you. Fresh is always um, arranging um, kitchen inspections too. But if for some reason you feel that you want to challenge the kitchen inspection, you feel that your bit has definitely been cleaned or anything that you want to escalate, please come and speak to me. I'll have a meeting with my colleagues and we'll always find a solution. Mm. The sooner you report the maintenance, the better. If it's urgent, please call the reception. As soon as you walk in, you will see posters when there is a 24 hours mobile number to call. 
um, if there is anything that lack of electricity, lack of water, which once in the blue moon, but it happens, please report straight away. If you approach someone at reception and let them know, they will always be able to help. Um, as I mentioned before, you would need to bring your own bedding and pots and pans. Um, I know that maybe no one, no, but, well, not everyone is a fan of cooking. I personally am. Um, so <laughs> I would strongly advise you to um, get a uni kit. Um, and um, loads of students are using it. Uh, we've got discounts available um, on the website. If you do not know what uni kit uh, is, um, please visit our guidebook. You'll find all the information there. Facilities. That's another of my favourite bits now. Um, I don't know why Sarah put the refuse and recycling as the first bit, because that's the most boring bit. But yes, we do have three bin stores across. They are located on a, on a, in the basements. Um, so our building is located um, on the corner, so that's an L-shaped building. And each back um, exit will have refuse stores. As soon as you are on the ground floor and you are in the lift lobby, um, you, will, you will see the signs po um, pointing you um, in the direction. If you do not know, ask us, we will help you. We do have laundry facilities also in the basement. They are being operated by circuit. And this is a very important bit. When you go to Circuit Laundry website, and then you choose London, and then you will need to choose the site that you live on, you will choose Fresh Student Living, because Fresh, as I said before, he's helping. they are helping us to with various maintenance and with they're maintaining the facilities and the building itself. So your laundry provider will be Circuit. And then when you choose the, look at, uh, the provider, it will be Fresh Student Living and then the sketch house option will pop up. You will need that to register your account. And then as soon as you download a circuit application, you will need to choose cho cho those um, credentials to um, register your account. We do have common room, very next to the, uh, right next to the laundry on the same level. Common room is very popular. You have a pool table, we have PlayStation to be collected at reception. So if you need it, let us know, we'll give you um, all the cables you need and the controllers. We've got a few games available as well. Um, we do have foosball table um, and um, a lovely TV, a couple of sofas so you can sit and chill with your friends. It's a very popular facility at Sketch House, so I'm sure that you're gonna enjoy it. Um, we do have 24 hour security. That's also looking after and then patrolling those areas to make sure of your safety. Um, so, uh, common room, as I said, is located on the ground floor and security um, will be available at reception 24 hours per seven whenever you need them. Uh, we also have first aid box at reception. So, if you don't have your own staff, you can always um, ask my colleagues. Um, my Sarah is gone for some reason somewhere. Um, your key. Uh, you would get a fob that looks exactly like mine, but it's going to have a blue color. The fob is programmed to give you access to all emergency exits, including the um, hall exit, and uh, it's programmed to give you access to your flat and your room. So you won't be able to use your fob to open any other flats. Um, and please remember that it's a very important, it's a very important bit you always need to close your room door. So there will be a black panel located underneath your handle. You always need to tap and then it will flash green and make a very specific sound to notify you that the door is being closed. When you leave your flat, the door will lock itself. So you won't need to remember about using it on every single door, but any single time and every single time you use it, you lose it, sorry. We we'll would need to charge you, charge you for replacement. It's only ten pounds, but if you return it, we will remove the charge. So do not worry. Search your pockets very thoroughly. Um, post and deliveries is the next bit that um, is very important for all of you. We will accept all your parcels. We do have a QR code. You will be able to scan and find your unique number. So every parcel that is coming in is being given a number from uh, one to um, one hundred or 1,000 actually, I'm sorry. 
and then you will be able to find it on your spreadsheet if there are small parcels you'll probably find find them in your post box um, and all the post box keys are available at reception all you need to do is just to ask one of our staff members um, if the parcels are very very large and then this is especially pre-arrival we do not have a lot of storage facilities available please try to schedule your parcels especially those um, who need to send a lot of your belongings and you, you're not going to be traveling with a lot of suitcases and you'd rather post them boxes we do store them but sometimes there are cases when you're really running out of place and our reception is just covered in your boxes. Let us know if it's coming so we can plan ahead. If you can schedule delivery on the day on your arrival, it will be much appreciated. Reception, as I mentioned before, um, my colleagues are always going to be there to help. Um, it's covered 24 hours per seven, but after seven o'clock, we do have security who has limited access to the system. So. If you want to talk about your tenancy length, any extensions or, or any of your changes to tenancy agreements or ask about the rent, try to do it within the office hours, ask me. Apart from that, security will be able to help you with anything else, um, but they won't have access to our database. So you're safe, but any changes that you may require us to make or especially when it's the, when it's to do with the finance bit, they won't be able to help you as well as I could or my colleagues during the day. Let's move to the next slide. Post life, the most exciting thing for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so Halls Life is the events and wellbeing programme that's run within the halls um, and it's run by students like yourself. So they are first and second year, maybe postgraduate students who are gonna be living with you in Sketch House. Um, so you'll have a halls committee who um, will be at Sketch and they'll arrange weekly events um, in the common rooms for you. If there's any events that you think that you'd like to see that they haven't ran um, and you wanna get more involved, then by all means um, speak with them and just maybe have some suggestions of what you would like to see hosted at your hall. Um, it's a program for all of you um, so yeah definitely get involved with any ideas that you have in terms of finding out what the um, halls life are up to you can follow them on instagram um, and that's at ual halls life or one word and on there they have kind of the links to the latest events um, videos of students and in and around the halls um, and what their experience has been so far and to actually book onto the events at the bottom of the page, it's got the Halls Life page. Um, so that's how you can actually sign up to attend the events. As well as the events that are happening in the halls, there's also lots of external events that are going to be happening across London. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out on the on Instagram and on the Halls Life page for that. It's things like theatre trips um, and a boat party that's held on the Thames. Um, at the, the beginning of September. So yeah, keep an eye out for all the, the fun events. It's a great way to meet other students um, who are in your hall. The other side of Hall's Life um, program is the wellbeing element. So um, they provide, Hall's Life provide um, free dried food products, which will be stored in the common room. Um, and they're available for you to go down just with, you know, a plastic container and you can fill up on rice and lentils and things like that to make a, a meal. Um, they, they'll also be providing free period products across the hall. So um, if you ever do need um, products, um, then you can come down to um, either, uh, I'm not 100% sure where it's going to be stored, but it'll either be in your common room or in the reception area. So you'll be able to um, pick up period products as and when you need them. There's also going to be um, a coffee and chat session that's going to be held. Um, so again, look out for, for the details of that on the website and on Instagram and lots of other events. So wellbeing events to be Tuesdays to cover topics that maybe um, people might feel a bit anxious or um, not really sure how to approach the subject around things like consent. Um, so they're, they're also well worth um, attending. Um, and there'll also be goodie boxes given out, wellbeing boxes that are going to be available at reception um, if you ever do need a bit of a pick-me-up. Um, and the other thing that they're going to be offering 
um, at each hall is STI tests, pregnancy tests and free condoms as well. So look out for those around, around your hall. And if you ever do feel as if you need further support or, or need, some, need some help and guidance and signposting to, to what support's available, then you can contact um, Halls Life at here for you at arts.ac.uk. On the right is also their poster. So you'll probably be very familiar with this when you move into halls, but those will be um, shown around um, the halls and you can, um, it shows the email address or the QR code, which also takes you to the support page. And now comes the boring bit, health and safety. <laughs> Um, we do have weekly fire alarm testing. It's every Wednesday at 2 p.m. at or around because it's between 2 p.m. and 2.30. However, if you're in the course around that time and you hear the fire alarm for longer than 10 seconds, run. I mean, obviously, leave the building <laughs> using one of the staircases. Um, I try to make it as fun as possible, but Fire safety um, and health and safety is very important to us. It's also a legal requirement. We pay a lot of attention to it. So please follow the process. Fire assembly point is right across the street. You will be handed in all that information. Um, but yes, do not use lifts if, you, if there is a fire alarm. Um, each building, each end of the building, as I mentioned before, we're located on an L shape, so you will have in the corner, in the middle, behind the lift lock piece, you will have staircase, and then at each end of um, of the of your corridors and each floor, you will find a staircase, and you'll be expected to leave the building um, as soon as you hear the fire alarm for longer than 10 seconds. We do have fire drills throughout. As much as it isn't students' favourite thing, we do them um, as a legal requirement. Again, if it's in the winter, remember to grab a coat because sometimes. It could be quite chilly or get an umbrella because London weather, I think you all know that we're famous from having a lot of rain throughout the year. Um, but they also want sunny days, so do not worry. But yes, grab a coat and make sure that you leave your room because we do um, we do check the attendance um, and then you may get a warning if you do not leave the building because it's really, really, really important that you are safe within the building and we have those fire alarms tested. Um, make sure that you know your nearest fire escape route. If you're not sure, you will be given that information on the check-in. I will also be sending it out via email in a digital form. So do not worry, it will be always easy to, um, to find and reachable. Um, I think I did say where to go, but yes, they are, there are three exits um, and as much as you have you don't you don't know sketch holes as well as I do. I will be sending it out so it will be easier for you to visualize. Um, but at, at the end of each staircase there is an exit, and then you'll be expected then to leave to the street, walk around the building, and meet us across the road from the main uh, from the main entrance. Um, if you go on Google Maps and then you will put you know you put your pin um, just in the front of the sketch house. Um, then you will see that across the road um, there's just a casual housing, um, sorry, casual houses, but there on the pavement, this is our fire assembly point. Um, I will be pointing it out quite a lot. Um, it will be a part of your induction, so please pay attention. It's really, really important. Safety first. And um, another health and safety bit. If you need um, any personal evacuation plan please let me know i've already seen that some of you um did tell me um that they need um adjustments and they need uh peeps and i've seen it on the induction that's when again filling the induction is very very important because there might be things that you want to let me know about um and again it's uh, it's something that i review on a daily basis we do have i think almost 50 percent of students that have completed it. So please use it as an opportunity to let me know if you need any adjustments or if you need a PEEP plan, um, and I'll be able to get in touch with you based on the information provided and make sure that this is all in place for you and you feel comfortable um, uh, about the plan. And then we, we've, 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 we're both on the same page. Um, working in course, if you're in a doubt, 
um, or if certain works are allowed or not. First bit is your tenancy agreements. We do say which which works are um, allowed or not. And then again, this is a very important bit. Um, some of you may be using spray paint, um, which could be harmful. Um, and then again, we would expect you not to use them in um, closed off areas. There are various workshops that you can work and then universities got facilities um, that you can utilize to work on your projects. If you're not sure if you can work on the project, please let me know or ask any member of staff or check the guidebook. Um, and again, tenancy agreement. Um, as much as you're a part of the UAL family, um, we like to think of accommodation that is your home, away from home, and then because of health and safety and because of the um, paints or, or spray paints um, or, or the various product, products that could be flammable, we would like to minimize the risk and make sure that your safety comes first. So if you're not sure, please let us know. Um, in order to avoid any damage to, to your desk or, or any other flat surfaces that you may use around, um, you will find around, use the cutting mats provided. If, if you're missing one or if you need one more, let me know. I'll have some spare ones from um, previous years as well. Try to um, always let me know ahead if you're working on a project. Um, there were students that are sometimes using common room and then if we work on it together, I can always make sure that the right safety measures are for you in place um, and we can provide a safe environment to, to work on your project if, it, if it's bigger. Um, and yes, any work you are doing should not be heard outside of your room. Please be respectful towards your flatmates. As much as my parents always used to tell me that I should keep my music down after a certain time, um, you will be working on various projects and deadlines um, across the, the, you know, the entire year. So respect your flatmates. You will have various dead, deadlines and then you will need your flatmates to support you or sometimes clean your kitchen bit. So if you can keep the noises down um, after 11 um, p.m., please do. We will have security doing the checks, but um, I would rather avoid the cases um, and, and I would rather have you all here feeling like we're all big family um, than deal with complaints. Travelling around London. Yes, that's my favourite bit. Uh, the first thing I'm going to mention is an Oyster card. As a student, you can apply for an Oyster card um, online. You will be asked to provide a picture and then you'll get a discount. It is very handy to have. Um, use the license cabs. Um, if you already have Google Maps downloaded, um, you can always choose uh, which form of transportation you can use. So we do have um, various apps like Uber, uh, Bold, or you can use Black Cab Taxis. It takes a lot of time to get a license for a Black Cab. I think it takes five years of study. So those are also being considered um, one of the safest ways of traveling around um, London. City Mapper is great for planning your journey. You can also go to TFL website and they will tell you about any closures or anything, any planned works that are happening. Sketch House is a building that is located um, near Finsbury Park Station. So from here, you can pretty much go anywhere. It takes really not a lot to uh, to move between the campuses. We are very, very close to King's Trust and Pancras when you've got a wonderful library as well. Um, so it's literally the station is a three minutes stone throw, I would say. Um, make sure that when you're using a public transport, you're keeping your belongings with you. You will hear various staff members um, on the station to always talking through the speaker to say, please make sure that you've taken all your staff Keep, uh, keep an eye on your colleagues, um, keep an eye on the station, do not cross the yellow lines and just please stay safe. London is a busy city. Um, sometimes there is a lot of crowd on the tube and then make sure that you all have your pockets zipped. Um, and then again, we will be available at reception if for some reason you are even lost underground and you need to call us. The 24 hours reception number that you will find in your guidebook 
you can you can phone us via WhatsApp. Uh, and on every well, pretty much every single station across London, there is always free underground Wi-Fi that you can sign up to. So if you can, if you need to text them, or, or, or if you feel that you want to call them and find your whereabouts, um, or just be guided where to go, or you need help, you can also phone that number through WhatsApp. So bear in mind that there is always someone that you can contact and talk to. Um, and then again, the last bit is save the site mobile number on your phone when you arrive. So make sure that you also, when you're around the building, the signal sometimes varies, so you can enable Wi-Fi calling on your website. Um, so if the signal, mobile signal wouldn't be strong enough, you can always call us via Wi-Fi. Support. Support is something that we're really, really proud of. Um, we have, first of all, you have me, as um, residence manager, and we have uh, residence managers across the halls in every single hall that is um, taking care of you and the building, but we also have student services. Um, when you go to our wellbeing page on, um, on the UAL website, you can drop, uh, you, sorry, you can book a free drop-off session. Um, you will remain anonymous. There could be anything that you want to um, talk about, um, to us, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I got lost. <laughs> I wanted to say two things at the same time. If you're struggling with anything, and it could be it could be very simple things. You're moving sometimes very far away from home. You may be not sure what to cook, uh, what's the best um, shop. You will be struggling to 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 budget, um, and um, there could be anything that really and truly you need help with. We do have student services available, um, and then from counsellors to health advisors um, to disability advisors and dyslexia coordinators and specialist tutors. Um, as I said, the team is quite wide, and each of my colleagues is specialised in their area. So as soon as you reach out to us, we will be able to signpost you to, to the right team and then to the right person. You can find um, the website on, on our um, arts.ac.uk forward slash students forward slash student services. But if you go to Google Engine and just type UAL wellbeing, you will be taken to the same website. So it's very transparent, very easy to navigate through. But as I mentioned before, if you feel that you want to speak to me personally first, let me know. I'll be happy to help. Amazing. Questions? Yeah. I well, did it. Yeah. So I'll just say as well for everyone, the, the, the last page here has kind of the main contact details. So if you think of a question after the webinar later on this week or in a few weeks time, the best um, place to go is accommodation.arts.ac.uk and if you just email the central team they either answer themselves or um, they'll forward it on to Kasha for, for an answer if it's more specific to sketch. There's also the um, phone numbers as well that are there. Um, we haven't got too much time. I've been answering a few in the chat as we're going along so some people have got their answers but we'll try and get as many as possible in the next five minutes. Um, appliances in the kitchen, Kasha, what is available and what would... You will find, first of all, you have the, the cooker and the ovens. There is two in each kitchen, unless you book the studio. Um, you have uh, two fridge freezers, um, and I mean the top bit will be a fridge and a freezer, so two each in kitchen to make sure that you've got plenty of space. We provide kettles, toasters, microwaves, you also will find irons, ironing boards and a hoover in your kitchen. So if you're sharing flat with another five or, or six students, that will be all for you. And there will be only a group of people that use certain appliances. So to make sure that wear and tear is as less as possible. What's the next one? Yeah. Um, next one. How long can friends or family stay at the accommodation? Oh yeah, that's an easy one. Thank you so much. <laughs> you can have a guest overnight for three nights in a row or how many you want. It could be a one night or two nights, but from the last night that a family member or, or a colleague stayed with you, you would need to give it a two weeks break and then you can have the next person checking it with you. So 
for three nights max every two weeks. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, someone's asked when they can find out their flatmates who they who will be living with in their flat. Pretty much on the same day, and I've mentioned that before, there is a wonderful event that is planned on the day on your arrival, and that applies for both of the checking days, on the 2nd and on the 7th, and the days after. You will be able to make your way to the common room, and there will be a little event uh, where you will be able to meet your flatmates, meet um, people for, well, students um, and people from our team, um, um, that work in the building and some of my colleagues from different teams. Uh, so I would strongly like to encourage everyone to come and there will be a big pyjama party after the second check-in and that will be your opportunity to meet your flatmates too. So 7 p.m. Common Room Sketch House, 9th of September. Perfect. Um, someone again, sorry, just to say someone again is asking about everything that's in the kitchen. Um, and I would just say to that one, everything that you need to know about what is, what isn't in your kitchen, in your bedroom is all within the guidebook. Um, so, yeah, if you just go on to Hall's Life um, or just search in Google UAL Hall's Life um, guidebook, it will be the first thing that comes up and you'll be able to see everything that you need to bring with you. Yes, you'll find a list of items, but if someone likes to see everything visually, then as soon as you go to Sketch House, you will mm -hmm. Google Sketch House URL, um, scroll to pretty much half of the page, and then you have virtual tours. There will be a window with the reception, and you will have numbers one, two, three, four, five on the side, and which each number is for a different area. So if you would like to have a virtual tour and see visually what's in the kitchen or in your room or in the bathroom, you can also um, have a look there. Perfect. Okay. Um... One more question. As I said, we will still get back to absolutely everyone. Anyone who's answered a question that we haven't managed to answer, we will get back to you. Um, I think we've kind of, I think maybe just because there's still quite a lot of people that are asking it, Kasia, so although we may have covered it, but people are still, they're asking if they can find out um, whether they can know their room number before they move in um, and their the room flatmate. numbers are being advised on arrival. Um, this is because we are still making some changes. We do have um, some works planned throughout. Um, that's why we reserve that information till the very last minute. It makes things easier um, if we need to make changes. And don't get me wrong, touch the wood is not going to happen, but for example, if there is a burst pipe in a flat um, and for some reason um, that's, uh, we would need to reallocate um, all students to a different flat when we've got a later arri arrival planned, that's why we do not give those numbers ahead um, because it then causes confusion. And then, for example, you will set up your Amazon account and schedule deliveries or anything else or give it give it away and then you will need to be able, to, you would need to be reverting it all back and changing the room numbers and then um, it can cause a little bit of chaos. That's why for now, if you're scheduling any deliveries, please let me know. Um, and then you'll find your flat number on the day on your arrival. Um, and again, touch the wood, nothing is going to happen. But for now, you can use the Sketch House address um, that is on the website, which is 36 Clifton Terrace, N43 Tango Delta, TD, London. Um, and then just make sure that you put your full name and surname there and then we'll still accept your um, your parcels because I know that the, um, the question about the rooms um, was mainly because some students wanted to schedule some deliveries prior to arrival. Yeah, great, amazing. Thank you so much everyone for joining. Um, we will be sending out this webinar recording to everyone as well who has attended. Um, thank you to Kasha. Um, I think we're both looking forward to seeing everyone in a few weeks time as well when everyone does move in. So um, yeah, it's great to see so many of you join and we'll see you all in person very soon. Thank you everyone for meeting me and for coming. I'm looking forward to receiving you on board. <laughs> bye bye. Bye guys. <laughs>